This morning on The Dish, restaurateur Hollis Wells Silverman. She's behind not just one, but three new establishments in the Capitol Hill neighborhood of Washington, D.C. We visited Silverman for a meal and a chat about how her creative approach could perhaps change the culinary industry as a whole. Walk into this space on Capitol Hill, and no matter your taste, mood, or degree of hunger, you've got choices. There's the Italian-inspired La Colina, a cocktail bar known as the Wells, and then the Duck and the Peach, a seasonal twist on new American cuisine coined with love. So the peach is a nickname for my daughter, um, and the duck is a nickname for my old black lab. So. For restaurateur Hollis Well Silverman, it's a take on the ultimate dinner party. I wanted to do something that was familiar, was a little bit nicer than maybe people could prepare at home, but not too pretentious, so really approachable. We wanted to create kind of small, intimate spaces. So a but turning an old school in her neighborhood into a passion project wasn't exactly her wish come true. Restaurants are an insane business, so most of them fail. I never wanted to open a restaurant. But and you say that with a smile on your face. <laughs> I well, I feel like in the world, and especially after the pandemic, you have to have a smile on your face. With construction starting in early 2020, the first concept opened within a year. The other two followed in mid-2021. There was an opportunity to open these spaces, and I knew that if I let someone else do this, I would be not happy. Three restaurants virtually in the same spot. What, you know, how <laughs> did you pull this off? Uh, with a great team. A great team, she says, that delivers great food. Like compachi crudo with cucumber and avocado puree. Carrots over sheep's labne or yogurt. Winter squash rice made with bear beret, an Ethiopian spice blend, and topped with pumpkin seeds and shallot. Mmm, smoky. Mm -hmm. It hits on the second bite. Mm -hmm. And Silverman's favorite must have on the menu rotisserie chicken with cilantro zoog. Roasted chicken is my love language. And why so is that? Whenever anyone. Uh, need something or you drop a meal or someone has a baby you're having a hard time, I typically roast a chicken and I give it to people. Got it. Because a roast chicken is a true sign of love and deliciousness. A lot of hallways in this joint. We do have a lot of hallways in this joint, leading to many things. Many things. Many things. <laughs> it starts with the floor plan. Three concepts that actually share just one kitchen. Well, nobody's supposed to know that. <gasps> So technically, it's two restaurants and a bar from the guest perspective, but I knew from my experience that in order to have a successful business, you need volume. So I designed something that I felt people needed, living here for so long and being married and then without kids, married with dog, married with kids, with the stroller, without the stroller, and understanding that you need a little bit of everything. Push your dough on top and kind of get your fingers get the your divots. divots in. Executive chef Katerina Petanito oh, gave me a Garfield. lesson on the art of making three cheese ravioli. Oh, wow, I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah, that looks great. And offered her take on the company line. I would say she's probably one of the greatest people I've worked for. She's very passionate about making an environment that's safe and encouraging for everyone to be in. Petanito says the kitchen is built on efficiency. We do all like the right things. We're recycling, we're composting, we're using sustainable products. We're working with local farms and agriculture to make sure that we're bringing in as local ingredients and seasonal, like hyper seasonal ingredients. And Silverman threads her intention through everything, like an all women wine program and executive team. We're trying to change the game. We're trying to really create a place where people feel welcome. Everyone feels welcome. She got her start in San Diego in Northern California with a degree in hospitality management, later transferring to D.C. with her Navy husband, where she landed in the view of Chef Jose Andres. Jose is an amazing leader, but he's also an amazing team member. So he knows how to build a team. He knows how to look at not only food, but look at beverages, look at design, look at all of the things, and figure out how to make it better. And that's something that not many people do. 
she would become chief operating officer of his Think Food Group and over 10 years nearly tripled his staff, expanding his local brand into a national empire. It enabled him to take on big problems like world hunger. Silverman is tackling big issues too on a smaller scale. We're tackling tipping. I think that how tipping started is not great. I think that it leads, unfortunately, to a lot of unhealthy cultures and work environments. So we do a service charge instead. We pay people a higher hourly rate. And paying people what they're worth fosters creativity. As we saw with pastry chef and ice cream queen, Rochelle Cooper. And ice cream, I view it as the preservation method. I don't have as many methods of preserving as the culinary team, I would say. We have a lot of fun with it. The team gets creative and comes up with great flavors. Like the dough ball trouble. Oh my gosh. The diet goes out the window here. Experimentation is the spirit of the Wells, where gin is front and center. Ooh, okay. You got me at the ice cube. <laughs> well, it's really a good cocktail is about the ice. And then we just add a bunch of fresh citrus and botanicals and herbs and spices to bring out the flavor of the gin. Wow. When are you open? <laughs> <laughs> Running these three concepts is a labor of love Silverman doesn't shy away from. You know, I can't change certain things, but like, this is what I can do, so People can come in, they know that they're going to have a great time. They feel like they can enjoy someone across the table from them. And that's how I can hopefully put a little bit more joy into people's lives. Love the cocktail bar. <laughs> we couldn't tell. <laughs> Even though I'm on dry January, I had to taste. And this is one of her fascinating blends. It's a classic herb yes. take on the gin and tonic with juniper berries, yeah. lemon lime. So yummy. I love the ice. What was the ice cream again? Mm. The Don't, double dough. Uh, like the no, no sugar free January. Yeah, no, no. Mm. It was unbelievable. Good stuff. It all looked delicious. Yes, it did.